of First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, the last couple of days have felt a little oppressive outside. Very humid. We've had the heat crank up on us. The clouds have helped, though, but overall, it's uh, been a little tough to spend time outside late afternoon. But we're going to see our humidity drop into Tuesday and kind of hover in that pleasant territory at times feeling just a bit humid. But overall, nothing too out of control, and that's going to be the case through the rest of the week. Uh, so next 24 hours, we'll start off the day with some clouds tomorrow. At breeze out of the northeast will make it feel a little bit cooler outside. 74 around 8 o'clock and 78 by 10. Afternoon, upper 80s instead of 90s. We got up to 93 degrees for three days in a row through this weekend. Uh, today we hit 90 and we're starting the backslide. Not going to be quite as hot out there, which should be nice. Now, next big thing, we are looking at the tropics and their impact on the U.S. Right now, seeing a lot of moisture getting pushed up into Texas and Louisiana. We're not going to experience anything from this system as it looks right now, uh, but it's all from an area to the south that has a 70% chance of development. This is spinning and helping to push lots of Gulf moisture up toward the Texas coast. So we'll be watching that one. This is the one that we'll be watching for the Carolinas, about a 30% chance of development with this system. It's still a good distance from the Bahamas, but it's going to be drifting closer to Florida uh, over the next several days, bringing the potential for some showers uh, and some gusty wind. But right now, it only has about a 30% chance of development and does not look to bring any big impacts uh, to the Carolinas. One of the reasons we've got this area of high pressure sitting right on top of us, and you can see the heavy rain, it's going to get pushed because of that flow. Um, into Texas instead of allowing that system to come toward us. And we're also going to be watching the coastline as moisture from that system in the Atlantic tries to approach, but it kind of gets eaten up as it approaches that area of high pressure. So this is going to keep things fairly dry for us as well as the coastline over the next several days. But there's still a chance you could see some showers if you're going down to the beach toward the end of the week, and we'll be watching that forecast closely for you. For us in the upstate, we're looking at only a small chance of rain starting on Sunday and into Monday about a 30% chance. Our, our forecast definitely gets more active next week and it's going to get hot to mid 90s on Saturday and Sunday and the mountains looking ahead to mostly sunny weather feeling pretty good the next few days and then those storms return Sunday into Monday.